The 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment Airborne celebrates 35 years of service on October 16th, 2016. The regiment can trace its roots back to the early 1960s during the formation of Special Warfare Aviation Detachments in preparation for Vietnam. The 22nd Special Warfare Aviation Detachment activated in March 1962 at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The unit went through a series of reorganizations during the Vietnam era and by October 1965, ultimately became the 281st Assault Helicopter Company, Air Mobile Light, based out of Fort Benning, Georgia. The unit's mission was to provide air movement of Special Forces troops, supplies, and equipment during Vietnam. Army historians consider the 281st to be the legacy unit for today's 160th SOAR. In years that followed, individual Special Forces groups activated their own organic aviation detachments until the failed Iranian hostage rescue of April 1980 led to the Holloway Commission a mandated reorganization of the nation's special operations capabilities, including a dedicated special operations aviation force. The Army looked to the 101st Aviation Group at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, the air arm of 101st Airborne Division, which had the most diverse operating experience of the service's helicopter units. A variety of aviation units composed of Black Hawk, Little Bird, and Chinook helicopters were selected to form the unit, and experienced pilots were handpicked. The chosen pilots immediately entered intensive training in night flying. Dubbed Task Force 160, the new unit was quickly recognized as the Army's premier night fighting aviation force, later to be known as the Night Stalkers. As pilots completed training in the fall of 1980, a second hostage rescue attempt, codenamed Operation Honey Badger, was planned for early 1981. It was called off when the hostages were released. In October 1981, the unit was officially designated the 160th Aviation Battalion. The 160th first saw combat during 1983's Operation Urgent Fury, the U.S. invasion of Grenada. In 1986, the unit was redesignated as the 160th Aviation Group Airborne. Throughout the 1980s, the regiment participated in Operations Earnest Will and Prime Chance in the Persian Gulf, conducting the first successful night combat aviation engagements. It assisted the recovery of a downed Soviet helicopter during Operation Mount Hope 3 and supported parachute and rescue operations during Operation Just Cause in Panama. The modern day 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment Airborne was officially activated in June 1990. In the 90s, the Night Stalkers helped liberate Kuwait during Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm and flew valorously during campaigns leading into the Battle of Mogadishu. After September 11, 2001, with the global war on terrorism underway, demand for highly trained special operations aviation assets grew. Today, the 160th SOAR has almost 3,000 soldiers and more than 200 aircraft across four battalions strategically located around the country, a regimental headquarters, and its own training company. The Night Stalkers fall under the command of U.S. Army Special Operations Aviation Command, and subsequently the U.S. Army Special Operations Command, Fort Bragg, North Carolina.